Hello, everyone. This is Shanadra with Let's Dig Deep um, talk show, um, Getting to the Root of Things. I have my guest on. Her name is Empress Matthews, and we will be, our topic for today will be on racism. And in the Bible, in John 7 and 24, it says, Stop judging by mere appearances, but instead, judge correctly. What do you feel about um, what it says in the Bible about um, do not judge about based off of appearances? That just means that we need to be, we don't feel we all look alike or look like us, you know, get to know them and accept Okay. And um, if you guys do not know, um, this is my sister, my half sister, and we are um, sisters by our dad, but we are sisters. And um, if you judge us based off of our appearance, you wouldn't have known that we are sisters. So um, I also want to give the floor to Amber <laughs> so she can um, talk about um, what race, how racism has affected um, her in 2020, and then I'll discuss how it has affected me in 2020. Um, because you know I'm lighter. So same time with how it is still different. Um, so it's not all perfect. Tony, I feel like it's just been all that's going on and like just trying to I don't get people to understand not everybody's like so different, even if we look look different you don't feel frightened or whatever around people who look darker than them you know mentally it's been really hard on, on me everything and try to process it i'm just hoping we can all get to a place so we're all I agree. Um, it, um, for so long, um, many people feel that, you know, lighter skinned people don't um, get the backlash or whatever, but it happens with all of us. And um, as we stated, we are sisters, but in the eyes of outsiders, it's like, oh, that couldn't be your sister. She's Look, she looks white, but she's not. And I feel like people should not judge based off appearances or color because they don't know who the person is or who they are related to. Or if you just judge based off, based off appearance, I feel like you really do. You 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 automatically are not allowing yourself to get to know that person as a person in general. Yeah, exactly. Um, you're kind of in the middle and people think or, you know, you don't understand enough, but still pretty hard, not as hard, obviously. So what are some obstacles or challenges that you have had to face? Um, due to racism. Uh, we living in the South. Um, dealing or people not realizing that it's racism. I'm just Lee or, you know, noticing my darker complexion or 
asking wings and then just even receiving like mad or angry I know that I'm darker or too dark for that I understand uh, I had to deal with it myself um, off both sides um, I've had people um, because I go from light to medium brown um, and people think that oh because I'm a little bit lighter um, that I don't face half of the issues and I have it a little bit easier but I don't um, I still face the same obstacles that every other black person faces um, at the end of the day I'm black and that's that's all they see they don't some people do not get a chance to know what I have to offer based off my color. They automatically disqualify me sometimes based off my color. But I don't use that as an excuse as to not do anything. Um, I still get out there and I still do what I can do um, beyond that. So I don't use that as an excuse, but I do want to bring awareness of it being out there. Um, even with the, the way the systems are set up, it's, it's, they say they're following rules, but technically the rules is really against black people. Like, um, you know, they, they make it harder on black people by their rules. They know that most black people are, you know, the way they have it set up are in, you know, subsidized housing or whatever, and they try to keep them stuck there because they they claim that they're helping them, but they're really not. And as a now mom and starting off thinking that that system was going to help me because I could not afford shelter, I realized that the system was really there to hold me back because they have so many restrictions in order to keep the child care. And it, it, it just doesn't help. When I told them that I was gonna start a business, they cut my child care out. Now I could have stopped there and not had um, started my business, but I decided to start without child care with my children, but it just made it 10 times harder for me to start a business with two babies on my hip, basically, um, wherefore, if you know, if it, if they had continued, if I was white, basically, they would have, you know, looked over it or allowed me to continue with the childcare, um, with starting the business. But with blacks, I feel like they want to stay by the rules um, that they have set, you know. In that thing. Mm -hmm. by the system of like even with you know is child care and things like that we do do have a way for a reason so well that doesn't really apply to everyone you know if you look a certain way I mean, you have to push a lot, lot hard to get anywhere. You do. That's true. Um, they, but they don't want to admit it. Um, they just put it as, oh, we're just following the rules. But I mean, we see it all the time with the police shootings um, and how the police handle a white man versus a black man. Black men get shot. White men, they tackle them, wrestle with them the whole time, keep talking to them, please stop, you know. But the black man is, you know, hands up, trying to stop, you know, being obedient, and he gets shot seven times. So it's like, do you not see that as racism or are we just looking over that as well? I mean, that's complete racism, but they don't see it. Oh, well, no, the police was fearful for his life or whatever, but it's like, 
the guy was walking away from me. If I'm fearful and someone is scaring me, I'm going to run the opposite way or I'm going to, I'm not going to chase them and they're walking away from me if I'm scared for my life. <laughs> it feels like there's always some like with things whether it's like through the justice system there's always some code well you weren't following the rules and it's like that's funny because they're not dead or you know suffering I feel like that is true. Um, they make so many excuses, even with your nephew, my son. He um, he was bullied um, since kindergarten. And at first he was not back or anything, but it was like they punished him for hitting back and they were trying to find ways for him to cope with getting hit instead of stopping the other child, which was not black, from hitting him. It's like they wanted to look at everything else. Well, Estefan needs to um, raise his hand and let us know. I'm like, well, Estefan, raise your hand. He says that when he raises his hands to let them know that they clearly ignore him. And I'm like, okay, so if he's getting beat down or somebody's choking him and he can't raise his hand or say, hey, you know, what, what options do we have? Y'all keep allowing him to get hit but you know, y'all are not doing anything to the people that are hitting him. He's not going around hitting anyone. He's hitting hit. And when he retali retaliates back, he gets punished, but he watches the other child not get punished. It makes no sense. And that was like, well, we're following the rules. So I asked them for their handbook and I quoted their rules back to them. You're supposed to create a safe environment for all students. That would include Estefan Thomas. That's like talking to my siblings, especially my brother, a bit darker than me, and the things that they go through with even during being asked if they have any illegal drugs in possession or. Um, they to like search their car and asking if they're in gangs, experience anything like that. But those are that they are still suffering. And so to grow up in a society to always you don't fit the description. And unfortunately, like even being mixed, like there is this privilege. You're still part black, so. And fourth person, it doesn't matter how little the percentage is. Right. They, it seems like here in America, if you have any black in you, you're black. And it's like, how are you going to just tell me to pick up, you know, you know, a mix? Like Kamala, they see her as black. They see President Obama as black he was mixed but they see him as the first black person it's like you know if you have any little percent half a percent of black they consider you as black and it's crazy and and they do treat i mean yeah that's what my mom literally Really talk lighter you are whatever already deemed you as a black person so you will be you can go around acting the way other people so that's I think a big misconception with like being mixed like people just think oh you have it so easy white people you will forever be black yeah, I mean, um, I've had a friend um, that was mixed in. Um, she, you know, she looked white, but she was mixed in. Um, once, like, these other girls found out that it was, you know, 
uh, not. And this came from the white side, but when the white side found out it wasn't completely white, I guess, um, they just unfriended her. And, you know, she came to me and she was telling me, but I was like, wow, you know, the whole time they were your friend. And now all of a sudden they found out that she had black in her. Then all of a sudden, but she was, I accepted her because I, I mean, you know, but it was just crazy that, you know, um, they don't realize the effect that that brings on a person when you, you know, you accept them for so long and then all of a sudden you just find out one little um, issue and then all of a sudden that just changes the person. I mean, it makes no sense to me um, for people to just start treating her different and just kick her out of the clique or whatever they did. And it was just annoying to me because it was like, that's so childish. Like, it's time to mature and grow up. Like, but I know we were in high school at the time, but it's still like, you know, it's time to, who does that? Like, I would, I would understand if you were in elementary school and you did that. Oh, you know, whatever. But we were in high school when that happened. And it's like, really? This is really happening? It's actually it feels like it gets worse the older you get because I do feel like people kind of British and you've got to fit this certain description of like how how white are, is your complexion or your features. Um, I feel like getting older it gets worse it's to separate you and make you never gonna there's nothing you could ever do. I couldn't imagine, like, um, it's hard, you know, being just black, but I couldn't imagine, you know, um, like you said, most people may think that it, it's easier for mixed kids, but it's actually harder, especially me, you know, listening to some of, you know, my brother's stories and then listening to my little cousin. Um, which is makes her story and it's like, wow, you know, she's done been through a lot of racism, you know, just trying to make it through school. I mean, they, they talked about her, her, they talked about, um, she not black, um, you know, she, she has curly hair, but she thinks she's all dead or whatever. And, um, you know, just talked about her skin, just everything. It was just like, this is just, you know, I didn't think that she would have to go through that, but she had to go through just unnecessary, just ridiculous um, racism that made no sense. Yeah. Uh, so that was hard on me because I was too light. I had one white girl who perceived me as snobby and um, ungrateful. Well, see for me from how I looked. So it's like from each side, you're never, you're not, not black feel like you ever fit in your entire life. You just feel confused. You feel kind of yeah. I could see how that could. Um be i mean i i don't understand you know i don't understand why people treat people that way but it's just like when can we come to a resolution when can we follow what it said in the bible and quit judging people off of their appearances because whether you white black orange purple whatever um i've talked to a lot of um white or whatever females and we've had great conversations we had a lot in common um you know as a person we we had a lot of similarities um if people looked at me and you they would think oh they're probably totally different but we have a lot of sim we are 
you know, we share the same blood, literally. And it's like, um, I just, it's just annoying to me. And it's just time to grow up. It's like the older I get, like you said, it's like the more I realize how ignorant older people are. And it's, it's now it's not even the younger people, it's the older people, like the younger people are more accepting of, you know, the different colors. But these older people, it's like, you too old. If I feel like I'm too old, you're way too old to be acting and thinking in this same mindset. I mean, have you not matured? Have you not grown at all? You can't grow if you still stuck in that same mindset. I mean, I have grown from the mindset I was in when I was a teenager, when I just got out of high school, I'm in a totally different mindset. And it's like, okay, I thought this is how everyone is supposed to be, but it's like, these older people are still stuck in the retardedness. I mean, it's just retarded. I don't know how else to say it, but it's just retarded. It's it's like, you, you wanna stay stupid. When I realized some of the stuff I was saying sounded dumb or didn't make any sense, I stopped saying it. It was like, why am I saying this? I was just repeating, you know, what I heard and what I, but now it's like, that sounds retarded. I'm not I'm not gonna repeat it now that I know it sounds stupid. So it's like these 50, 60, 70, 80 year old people, I mean, when do y'all grow up? Like it's ridiculous. It's like they they're in power. I don't really understand not wanting to feel inferior to Black. I really don't understand what the issue is, but it is act more mature and have having to get it's beautiful, but at the same time, it's like they should be things and not thinking about how that got shot or you know whoever is standing up against it when they should should be focusing on themselves and grow and be an issue. Right. It's, I, I just don't understand it. And that's part of um, pride. And like you said, they're scared to be inferior, but you already are. Whether you admit it or not, it's like you already are. Like, it's, it's, it's just because you don't want to admit it. And that's that's the same thing as far as racism. Just because you don't want to admit that you're racist doesn't mean that it doesn't, that you're not racist. I mean, it's like, it's already out there. Just because I, you know, um, just because I think and I want to stay stuck on the way I think and I think I'm sounding smart or I think what I'm saying is right. Um, if it's dumb, whether people tell me it's dumb or not, with me saying it and continuously saying it, I mean, it's not making me sound any smarter. Damn if I understand, if I continue to say the saying that dumb mindedness, I mean, I know I'm making a dumb minded is not a word, I might make that up, but it's just I'm just sick of it. It's like the older I get, the more irritated I get of older people. Because I'm like, no wonder we are so lost. No wonder, you know, we're having to find our own way because y'all keep repeating and being stuck in the past and y'all keep repeating the past and y'all are not growing. Y'all stuck and y'all can stay stuck, but I'm moving. I'm evolving while y'all are revolving. Choosing to not evolve is what you're I don't know. I, I don't understand. I just wish. I, I also, you know, of the unknown, you know, stereotypes. So it's like, I don't know what needs to happen to uh, when they see us or have all these preconceived notions about. 
about us at all. Um, We've got all of these like stereotypical ways of seeing us and just that we're all pretty similar. It doesn't matter about your Right. So I do want to, um, I do agree with what you said. Um, I don't have a solution, but I am asking if anyone does have a solution or if we could just start by changing our mindset every day just try to if we get into that thinking just okay no I'm going to change that thing I mean I've had to change my thinking of how I used to think to now and it's like I constantly am aware of my thinking I'm a constantly aware of what I'm saying to people how I'm saying it to people um, now that I realize the way I say things can um, change the way people perceive me. So it's like, okay, well, since I know that I'm not gonna stay the same way and continue to talk loudly to people or, you know, if, if people are not receiving me in that tone, then I need to change it up. Um, that's like me asking the question to the teacher. Um, can you, I don't understand the way you are teaching me. Can you teach me in a different way? Or I don't understand that question and if the, I mean, I don't understand your answer. And if the teacher gives me the same example that I did not first understand, I didn't understand the way she said it the first time, but she just re-explains it the same exact way and expects me to get it the same way I didn't get it. It makes no sense. Now she gave it to me and changed it up a little bit to give me a different example of what more that one that I could understand, then you know that would help me out. But repeating it the same exact way does not help. So I feel like if we try to change and just you know keep that in our minds, like okay, I'm gonna show that I'm not racist. Like it's an action. It's not something you just say. Oh, I'm not racist. But I'm, you know, or, oh, I don't see racism, or, oh, I don't see color. Oh, we clearly see color. We learn colors in, in kindergarten. So we clearly know that we see colors. You can't say, oh, I don't see colors. We see colors, but it's like, I'm not saying don't see that, you know, someone's light or whatever. It's like, when you see that, don't just judge. Don't, you know, get to know that person. Look beyond the color. Yeah, I don't see color. That's not proof. Being that you're, I mean, that makes it seem like being black is, is a bad. So it's, I, I really have never understood that. But any more of like actively, um, not just believing you aren't, and also like you know educating yourself because. Everybody, um, society just ingrains it in you. So it's like if everybody would educate them and not form the same, date the same kind of people or whatever, and get to know different types of cultures, different types of people, and maybe being so fearful of somebody like saying what they, you know, are like, Baker, um, that's your type of people. I don't understand. And as I stated, it's just a lack of maturity. And then you wonder why, you know, they, they feel like, oh, well, my child is being rebellious. Oh, he's dating another race. Oh my gosh, that is so, no, maybe your child, is waking up maybe he is a little bit more mature than you are maybe he you know is more aware of you know trying to get to know a person than just focusing on oh what color are you oh what color do you have in you? oh you know it's like maybe your child is a little bit more mature than you are maybe you haven't grown to that like maybe instead of you judging your child and saying, 
that maybe your child is, you know, stepping out or being rebellious or, you know, um, whatever you want to say, maybe you should, I mean, what, what made you, you know, like this person? I mean, get to know the reason why. Uh, maybe in their race, they did not find that, you know, and, 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 it's, and it may not just be the race, it may just be, you know, they tried one and they just want to try something else. They found some, a person that they, you know, connect with. And whether that person is a different color or not, it should not matter um, due to, you know, their connection. I mean, people connect in many ways, as I told you. I've connected with um, people that were not black and we had a lot of similarities. We, our thought process was, you know, very similar. So, um, but I got to know that person. It was not just, oh, well, she's white. She's not going to understand. She's not going to think like me or, you know, I can't talk. I'm not going to even talk to her about him. No, because you never know. You don't know the person. You just basing it off of, oh, she's white. Mm, she looks preppy. She looks uppity. So, um, I'm not gonna say anything to her because she won't. She wouldn't dare know what I'm talking about. No, like you don't know. That's like a white person saying to a black. Well, she wouldn't understand. She's too dumb. No, I'm highly educated. So you know, just these perceptions and these retarded beliefs. Just it needs to stop. And I'll be the person to say it. I mean, I'm not scared to say that. It's racism and it's racist and it needs to stop. And whether they want to acknowledge or admit it or whatever, that's on them. I'm gonna have to leave them right there where they are at and let God deal with them. But in the meantime, while I'm letting you, allowing you to have your own opinion and live your life the way you wanna live it, allow me to live my life without your opinion. I'm not taking my opinion out on you. Live your life. If you wanna continue, in that mind frame, you stay right there. But do not judge me and do not say anything to me about what I'm doing. Yeah, because we're perpetuating all these ideas or think like or be like, so we all have to be separated into separate groups. We can only date certain, you know, all the girls around me would be like, yeah, I'm not allowed to date black guys. You know, or something that should ever be said. But it's like we're always it's kind of frustrating to be a mixed for, you know, accept other people. Connect. Like, it's just so frustrating to connect with everyone of not being able to get. Get along. The skin color can just cause this much chaos or like separation of people. Infuriating thing ever. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really dumb. I mean, and especially because um, I remember uh, my cousin, I'm not going to say her name, but um, she was telling me um, her mom was telling her not to date. Now, meanwhile, her mom. Is, is still, she just had more kids with a black man. But she's telling her uh, daughter not to date black men. And it's like, but do, do the parent not realize that that's being hypocritical? Do they not realize, I mean, you, you know, you were able to date whoever you wanted, but I, you are telling me who I can and cannot date. And I and you actually dated that. You've dated both, but you're telling me I can only choose one and I'm both. I'm both. So actually I can date both. But you're telling me that, you know, I have, you know, I cannot date this. I can only date. That's crazy. When she told me that, I was like, well, that's between you and your mom, because you know, I'm just her cousin, but it was just ridiculous like you know her mom was like my uncle of course is black but 
it was like, what what kind of sense does that make? You're gonna tell your child, you better not ever date no black man. But she's half black. You were completely, you know, white. And you dated black men. You 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 were allowed to, you know, date who you wanted, but she don't have that decision. She cannot make that. You're gonna make that for her. She can only date this or you're gonna be mad at her and upset. Yeah. yeah, I felt that there has been some sort of racism in, um, to date for me. That's not the girl they pictured coming to their house or, I, you know, or their son potentially marrying. So, so maybe the most difficult thing I've had to deal with without dating wise is kind of knowing that they will never um, um, really hurts and like just makes it impossible to date. Um, I, I can't say I understand, but I sympathize with you because I, I couldn't imagine, you know, um, because it's, it's hard for, you know, me, if I dated a white man, then, you know, people will start looking at me like, what's she doing with that white man, you know? What is that black woman, you know, doing with him? You know, the whole world of just, you know, oh my God. Uh, but I couldn't imagine, you know, being both and, you know, having to choose or, you know, if I chose, you know, black or white, and, you know, then the family not accepting me or whatever because I'm both or whatever. I'm not just one. Really, nobody's just one. We're all mixed up if we want to be honest. Um, but because I'm not more of one than the other, now, now you don't accept me. Before, like in my cousin's case, before, they, you know, knew that she um, didn't know that she was, you know, whatever. She was not my cousin, my friend. Um, before they knew that she, you know, wasn't, uh, before they they knew that she wasn't white, they were, uh, they were her best friends. I mean, they were, she was hanging out with them like every day. I mean, I'll see her say, hey, in the hallways and that was it but she was with them most of the time that was her click but then the moment they um i think her dad came to um bring her something and they were like who was that black guy coming up you know bring you something and she was like oh that's my dad and they were like oh you are mixed and it's like they kicked her out they like they were so cool she was you know the one they loved her who she was but then all of a sudden they find out, oh, you have to let, oh, no, we can't dare talk to you or, you know, you got to be away from us now because you're not white. And it's like, that's so dumb. But I feel like they're just repeating what the older people were telling them because they, I don't, I don't think they really knew what they were saying because it, it makes no sense. But they, I think that they were repeating what their parents probably were telling them, you know, if it's a black person, you can't be around them or, you know, we have to stick with our race or, you know, whatever they were telling them. It's like, it's, it's sad because you corrupt and that's why it's continuing on and on for so many years because these older people have stayed in that mindset and they keep passing it down and down and down and down. No one is correcting it. Yeah, that's the other thing is that what she has to deal with is more direct to where it's like, huh, um, I, I just know because I've dealt with it so many times. And I've dealt with that so much that I eyes I'm not white enough. And when I, you know, I feel like these people are racist. 
this tour even that dark though. And I'm like, that's not how racism works. So it's, that's what's always been frustrating. Just assume, well, you're lighter. Like they all, it's not good enough for a racist. They don't care. Right. I agree. Um, do you want to uh, let everyone know about your um, your business and what you do? Okay. So interior design and I have an Instagram account. So design and um, um, For me, is there anything I can probably do about fifty dollars an hour? Not very much, right? Well, you heard it, uh, and I will get her link information so you guys could look. I mean, it, it's that the way she transforms a room. She can do anything from a small room to a big room, and. She makes it just look so elegant and classy, and I just love it. And I cannot wait till she got on um, to talk about it. Um, but if you would like to look, I will ask her for her links so that um, you'll be able to see. But once you see it, you'll love it, and you will want to purchase from her. Um, thank you again, Empress, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.